Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I've been working with the Bumblebee. The Bumblebee is a programmable chip, an AVR, and you can actually see it here in front of you. And what's really cool about it is that not only it has this mini USB port which lets you program it the device right away, but it also lets it behave as a USB device on your computer, so I can get this to behave as a keyboard or as a mouse or as a joystick or as a serial port and really any USB device you can think of. Now, the specific project I've been working on, and you can see it here, is I took the Bumblebee and wired it up to this uh, matrix, this array of LEDs. Uh, now, you might be guessing how this, is, uh, how this is going. I'm going to connect this up and connect it up to my computer. Unfortunately, it's first going to show you this uh, message which is sent to any modem or serial device in Linux. So, meantime, as it runs, I'm going to mention that if you're getting this to pl uh, and you're new to electronics and you just want to play around, make sure you get the Bumblebee with the dip, which are the pins you see here, because otherwise you're going to get a Bumblebee which looks like this, and you will need to solder up this uh, solder the pins up yourself and it will be harder to connect it to one of these. This is a breadboard and the wiring you can see on it is the wiring you need to get the device into programming mode and it's really simple, it's just three wires and a button. Um, still I'm going to post on my blog post how to do this exactly and it's also available on the Bumblebee's website. So this seems to be ready so I'm actually going to show you my computer here and the command I'm going to run is echo hello to slash dev slash tty acn zero and if I'm going to run this, I'm going to show you this here it's actually going to type hello um, and I can really get it to do anything, uh, show the time, I don't know, show twitter messages, really anything you can get into a bash uh, script now I'm also going to show you how I've been uh, programming the bumblebee because I found it actually a little harder than other picks, mainly because there's no uh, IDE, uh, which is really simple. So I sort of built a simple IDE myself. I took this, this is an IDE called Genie, and it's more of a text editor, but it has the compile, build, and execute buttons. And I wrote a few tiny scripts for it, which I'm going to make available on the blog post. And uh, just to demonstrate how easy it is, I'm going to, let's say I don't want to get the, uh, I want to get this Bumblebee put to behave completely on its own without the serial port of the computer. So I'm going to run this application, with, I'm going to compile, build and run this uh, code which just writes my nickname, uh, Guysoft. So I'm going to compile this and before I'm going to build it and program the device, I'm actually going to press here the reset button. It's the same one you saw before, it's just uh, I also built one on this, so I'm going to press this. I'm going to build this and when I execute it, you can actually see it's gonna write Guysoft. Um, now, um, I actually also posted a few YouTube videos while I was making this, so you can actually see this, prog uh, this the progress I've been making while this was on the breadboard here. Um, I really suggest you go out, get a Bumblebee and start playing around. It's not that expensive and it gives you quite a lot. I mean, it's, it's, it's the same price of uh, more or less uh, any USB device you're going to get. And that's it for now. Bye-bye.